Gibby DIY. I'm going to show you how to trim out a window using a country style trim. It's going to have a lip that comes out. It's going to be routered. Really nice looking window. It's got a uh, little overhang here and it comes out it's smooth down this side uh, routered out got a little lip here so a really nice window trim so let's get started i'm going to show you the material and tools that you need to complete this job okay here's what you're going to need a table saw you're going to need a um, iron nailer. This uses 18 gauge, uh, 2 inch is what I use, uh, Harbor Freight Special. So 18 gauge, 2 inch nails. This thing will shoot uh, up uh, 1 and 5 eighths long to 2 inch to brad, brad nails. So you'll need that. Um, You'll need you a compound miter, saw, Harbor Freight Special. Of course, there's my uh, air biscuit for my air. I got a, a router, various things, of course, measured tape, hammer, uh, square, uh, safety glasses, ear protection, and pencil. Something to sharpen your pencil with, good screwdrivers, various little things that you might need along the way, but that'll get you started. Now, material wise, lumber wise, uh, you need one inch, one inch material, and it needs to be four inches wide. So, one before you can use pine. This is yellow poplar, good friend of mine. Jimmy Nally gave me this wood, and he showed me how to do this type trim, so I'm giving the credit to, to him. Um, this is my um, trim. So you need 16 foot of this type trim. I don't know the technical name for this, but it's this is what's going to go around the window. So you need 16 foot of this type material, uh, lumber, and this uh, one before 14 inches long of any type you want, pine or whatever you use. Like I said, that was yellow poplar. I had that gift for me. Uh, so that's the material and the type tools you're going to use. It takes a lot, but when we get done, we'll have a good looking window. All right, let's get started. First measurement I'm going to take the bottom. Inside is, uh, that's 34. I'm going to add six to it because I'm going to put a three inch lip on the overhang on both sides to give it my look. So 34 plus six is 40. While I'm down there, I'm going to go ahead and cut two. I'm going to cut the top one too. So let's look at the top one. It'll be pretty close to the bottom, I hope. Yeah, so, right at 34. So I'm gonna cut, I'm gonna cut this one at 34. I'm writing it down on the edges because trim covers that anyway. Now let's get the, uh, how wide the width. So I got drywall, so I need to come all the way up to the drywall. So it's about, uh, Three and three eighths. This one I'm gonna come out. Uh, I'm gonna come on. I'm gonna use my four inch board. The total of the four inches, so I'm gonna cut that in at four. So that came out forty two by uh, four four inches. 
Okay, remember, measure twice, three times, cut one. Remeasure that one piece and it needs to be three and a half inches wide. So I'm gonna let my fence here help me. So I'm gonna go three and a half inches wide. Now remember now, allow for your blade width there too, so. That takes a little bit of practice, but I'm gonna try it right there. I can always come back and retrain it. You got measurements down here you can use, uh, but I I don't trust them. So no, like I said, I just use the measuring tray. Went from there, three and a half, just a little bit bigger. Always look at your margins. Look at something on here to tell if you're straight or not. Use it. This will straighten it whenever you tighten it. But this look at it. You can tell if you got a line that's crooked there. Alright, so let's cut this board. Notice I use that. I'll whack your fingers also. Always use something to push the wood through. that board that's going to go up top I'll go up there and look at it I still got to cut I still got to cut it to length uh, I'm going to wait and look at my bottom again like I said I may need just a little bit more so let's go up and look at that Now, All right, this is the bottom of the window. Like I said, it's, it's, it's in bad shape. Look at this drive all the way down here. That's all right. Though. I'll show you what it's going to look like when we get done. But here's a margin on the window that I like to go by. You see this little line in the window, this little design, all the way down the window. That's what I'm gonna use. I'm gonna take this piece of wood and I'm gonna go right up to that line, okay? But for now, see how, I, remember when I cut this? I measured from here to here. And then what I got, like I said, I measured from here to here. What I got, I added six inches to it. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna come out three inches on this side, three inches on this side. So, let me put my camera up here and I'll show you how I'm gonna mark that. Okay, I'm gonna mark the bottom now. Remember this is a, this is a one before. This is your one before piece. And I measure from there to there. And then I added six. So I'm hoping to come out three on this side and three on the other side. So this is what I'm gonna hold on. So I'm going to take my measuring tape. All right. And I'm going to hopefully get three on this side and three on the other side. All right. So I got this side and this side the same. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to come right in here on this edge of this drywall. And I'm gonna make me a mark. I'm gonna come over here at the edge of this drywall. Make me a mark, okay? Then I'm gonna measure this distance from here to here. 
from here to here. And then I'm gonna come down here and make a mark here. So I'm gonna cut this and this out. So this board will slide back in here. So now, let me measure from here all the way to the drywall. From here all the way to the drywall. So I can come down here and make a mark and notch this out and cut this out. So then this will slide back in there. Okay, so that's what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna go here. So I'm gonna put this out. table saw, cut this one out. Okay, it looks pretty good. Alright, we got a little bit of giving room here. Got our overhang here. See how it slid back in here? Both sides. Alright, now what I'm going to do now is come up to that little line margin that I was telling you about. That's going to be my even point. Alright. Okay, folks, this is what we're going to do now. I'm going to show you the margin, what we're trying to achieve on this window. You got about a quarter of an inch margin from the window to this piece of wood. You want that, that margin to go all the way around this window like that. So how do you achieve that? You do it one or two ways. You take your measuring tape and come up a quarter and mark your line all the way across so you keep this wood the same. Or what I've done, I made me a little piece of wood that's about a quarter inch. So I can come up here, put it right here, then uh, take my screwdriver, put it in here and hold it. So I can iron nail this up in there. So uh, get a little close up here. In other words, there's my margin all the way down. That's what I'm trying to achieve. And how do you get this straight? Well, like you said, you can put your mark and you start air nailing this by holding this, taking the air nailer. Go up in there, boom, boom, as you move down. Okay, I'm holding the camera. As I hold, but as, as I hold this and go down this margin and start nailing it, see and i'll get all that the same and if i push if it goes up too far if it goes up too far well i take my screwdriver and pull it back down if i go if i don't go up far enough i'll take my hammer and hit it because i got these nails in here see? and that acts as a support so uh trying to cheat so I want this margin to stay all the way down and I put this next board up in here I'll put this margin up in here and I'll come all the way down here so then I'll have here I have a quarter here and a quarter here all the way down to my piece of wood down here remember I got my line here on the window 
I bring it up to. See. So that's that's why I'm talking about margins. I'll be using margins all the way through this thing. Now, I ain't worried about this space right here. So I'll fill it full of insulation, and that's where my trim's going to go and cover all this up. See, trim will come down here, and that'll be another margin right there. See, I'll put this piece of wood here, then I'll put that mar, I'll put that trim down to that margin. So all the way around, there'll be margins, and that's what gives you the effect. All right, let's move on to the side. Okay, here's that that line that's all the way down the window. I took a pencil and darkened it in. This thing to focus. Okay, all the way down. So that's the bound margin that I'm trying to achieve with this window. I'm gonna break it right up there to that. Yeah, I'm bringing this piece of wood up to that margin all the way around. Okay, once I achieve that, then I'm gonna, that's how long I know my sides need to be. So in other words, from this line, this line up there to that top, right here, from, from under here to there. That's how long that board's got to be. So let's get this margin up here. I don't want to nail this in yet because I still gotta I still gotta go and uh, cut it maybe off at the ends and things like that so uh that's why I'm leaving it so uh so I'll show you that that's my final piece of wood that I'm gonna be doing on the bottom so I'm gonna kind of leave that floating but I gotta put something up here to get it up there in boundaries I don't want to use my stick. So I'll be using that. Okay, right there is good. Put this piece of wood up here. All right, so I'm gonna have to take some off of it. Okay. Take about an eighth off of it or so. So let's take that off because it's too long. Both sides is really too long. All right, made me a little wedge here to help me out. Got my margins really good on this uh, meaning up here to this. Up here to this line. Okay. Now I've got to get this margin the same. All the way up. See how much I like? I got to come way on out. As you can see. See how, see how thick that is? How skinny that is? That's perfect. Over here is not right out. So that's what I'm gonna bring this out. Like I said, I could come over right here, a quarter inch, make me a mark. Like that, see? If you wanna do that, then I'll bring this piece of wood over to that mark, all the way up. All right, so I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do. Okay. 
See how I brought, pulled this out, and now this is completely flat right here. Okay, I'm gonna do that all the way up and down. Okay, I got this board pulled up. Got this board up. I got this and up to this margin, the bottom, and I'm bringing this and out. Look at it. Okay, so it went in a little bit. So I'll bring it out. Let's go up through here. Nail that. There's something to hold it right now. I can fine tune it in a minute. I'm just trying to get my margins all the way up. Same. All the way down. So, come I get up there, this, this margin, and that margin's gonna be the same, so I gotta come way out here. So. Okay, see my margins? That black line, I'm gonna put that piece of wood right up there under it. So I know it's flat. And that's where my other piece of wood's gonna go on top of it. All right. So I gotta cut some off that top. Okay, be right back. This side, and I'll show you what this this window's taking shape. Like I said, you can take your measuring tape, come over the same. All right, I'm going to use my board, my little piece of wood, break mine over with. piece of wood and go all the way up and down now that light right there is gonna make his camber dark so I'll show you what I'm gonna look like but I'm gonna do that purpose all the way up through there if it goes too far in I'm gonna use this to pull it out if it, if it ain't far enough I'll hammer it in so getting them nails in it get it get a base and get it started is the main thing you don't get it too far off and you will have to beat and pry out so much. All right, I'll show you after that. 
I want the big part to be long, the skinny part to be short, so this is totally wrong here. So let me cut this thing. That's right there, so let me go show you what I'm going to do with this piece of scrap here. Uh, what I'm going to do now is start working on the trim on the side. Start trimming it out so I really make it look good. So Remember, we're talking about margins here. So I'm going to get to margin on this, uh, put this trim up. So... In other words, here's what we're looking at right here. All right, so I'm gonna have a margin right here now on the side of this right here. And uh, in other words, it's gonna go up right here and start, then we're gonna start covering up all these holes. And uh, now I'm gonna put some insulation all up in this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my little piece of wood here like I said, that's about a, this piece of wood's about a quarter of an inch. All right, so you can take this right here, go a quarter of an inch here, make a mark with the root. And then you can uh, do a quarter of an inch here quarter an inch down here at the bottom and you can take a uh, level and make a mark all the way down but I like my piece of wood here that I made. so what I do is take a piece of wood here Make a mark all the way up here. And that piece <laughs> so all the way here, turn it this way. Get this. So now, if you look here, get it to focus in here. I've got a corner right there and right there. So that's the measurement I'm going to get. That's where I'm going to start. So I'm going to put, take this right here, put that there. Right on this edge here, see? So. Mark up here. On the high side. So that's the measurement I'm going to get. I'm going to go from here. All the way down. To here. See? You see, I got to pull this board up. I'm gonna wait do it last. So from here all the way up to here. That's the length of the board I need. So I'm gonna have a measuring tape. Go from here. All the way up to this point. So it's about 40. So what I do is I make a cut on the high side about 40. 
and I'll come back and I'll look at it here. Measure two or three times, cut once, just keep going back until I line. That looks, I'll show you what that looks like here. Let's go and cut me a piece about 40 inches long. In other words, it's gonna look like this, where it sits down there, and it's gonna look like I don't need it 40 inches long. So let's go do that. So let me go look at it here. Look how that wind is turning out around the edges there. It's gonna look good. I could just trim on. I, I picked the worst window in the house to show you how it before and after. So, uh, can't wait for you to see it. We're gonna go all the way through this. We're gonna have a good looking window when we're done. All right, before we go any farther, we're gonna put, we're gonna answer like this. So we don't have any cold air coming in. I'll be shouting on the hills of glory. Shouting on the hills. Alright, you don't want to forget that step. I'm going to insulate that so no air comes in. Alright, let's move on to the trim. Got it to the edge here, down here. That's what I'm going to use. And I'll do the other side the same, and I'll lay that top one up there, fit right in there. So let me clean this board up since it's used. I'm going to clean it up before I put it on there. So I got me a line a mark here on this right here I can use go right to the corner of that and I'm going to take my little piece of wood I love this piece of wood I'm going to set it down on my board there on the bottom set it right straight down on it on the bottom I'm going to use this I'm going to take my finger up here Get it good and flush. First piece. Alright. So you see that, I'm going to come all the way down it. My margins I'm dealing with here. Get my piece of wood come down, pull it over to the edge, just walk it all the way down. It's narrow down here. It's because of well, the wood's bold. So I'm gonna come over down to the bottom.
hammer. Push it in or out, whatever it needs. Get that margin. So now, we established the margin all the way down. See here how that looks? Coming on up. Remember I talked about margins, how important that is. So, see how straight that is all the way down. That looks really good. So let's go to the other side and do it. Okay, I'm gonna use my, I'm gonna come over here, quarter inch, make a mark. If you don't have a, if you don't have one of these uh, patterns made out, you can use your measuring tape. Just come over quarter to quarter, make your cross, come down here at the bottom. But since I got my little handy dandy deal here. I'm just going to put this up here. Make me across where these corners meet. Shaping up, folks. Isn't that nice how it's coming together? Look at my margins around through here. See that? This one? That's going to be the same up here. And I lay this up here. Awesome. See how to put that cardboard up on the window so you can see it. If I did this at night, you wouldn't have that problem. All right, let's measure that top. Okay, I'm going to measure from the outside to the outside. All right. Okay. So here's where it gets a little complicated. So I'm doing this top one here on the window. 
So remember, I want the right side of the window to be this way, the left side of the window to be that way. that ain't that nice shaping up can't wait to show you that bottom all right it's the moment we've been waiting for everything's up beautiful on our margins here we're ready to router and cut these ends so an inch half inch whatever y'all like I think I'm going to go three quarters. So, let's go cut them and uh, do our router. Alright, let's cut these tips off here. All right, let's go do some router. All right, folks, Harbor Freight Special right here. Here's the router um, bit I'm gonna use right here. Uh, well, that's like it, that style. So I got it from Harbor Freight. Uh, the main thing about this router here is um, practice. Get your depth. Uh, set right so it'll make the groove on the uh, uh, piece of wood. That's uh, really the hardest part about this and um, it just goes smooth, push it uh, hard enough to get your uh, groove in there and just uh, get you some scrap and practice. That's what I did to achieve the right height that I wanted here. So safety glasses and ear, in the ear protection that's important, you know, watch your fingers. So, um, let's do this. All right, I like the way that came out, so. Most important, one of the most important part of this is, is uh, sanding it. <laughs> All right, what I try to achieve here is just to get it smooth and uh, knock the edges off so it don't get busted off and uh, it's not real sharp, so 
Yeah, man, that's gonna look real good. All right, let's go check it out. under it right there.